If you've constructed one of these model windmills from our website or as part of one of our workshops, I'll show you how to test your windmill to determine its power output. Power is a measure of the rate at which a machine does work. Let's make this machine do some work. Start by wrapping a string around the pulley on the back of your windmill. Two meters should be lots. Create a small load and measure the force needed to lift this load. I've just used some pennies here and a paper pouch to create this load. And uh, using a Newton spring scale, what do we have? Looks like decimal nine Newtons. Zero decimal nine Newtons is the force needed to lift this load. Connect the load to the end of the string and you are ready to make your windmill do some work. I mounted my windmill on the top of a stepladder and lowered the load to the ground by unwinding the string. With the load on the ground and the windmill blades blocked, we are ready to start our test. To calculate work, we need to determine the distance that the load moves. With a measuring tape, I determine the distance from the ground to the windmill to be 2.5 meters. I used a block to stop the windmill blades from turning. As you can see, when I removed the block, the blades started to turn, lifting the load. You may recall our load is decimal 9 newtons. Our windmill must produce at least that much force to lift this load. With our load at the top, we are ready to calculate work. To determine work, multiply force times distance. Force produced was decimal 9 newtons. Distance, 2 decimal 5 meters. Multiplying decimal 9 newtons times 2 decimal 5 meters gives an answer of 2.25 joules. Joules are the units of work. Our windmill completed 2.25 joules of work. Power is the rate at which a machine does work. The watt is the unit of power. One watt equals one joule per second. To calculate power, divide the work done by the time it took to accomplish that work. Starting a stopwatch when the windmill starts to lift, we can determine the elapsed time. In this example, the windmill completed lifting the load in 9 seconds. We know from our previous calculation that our windmill produced 2.25 joules of work. Power equals work divided by time. In our example, we divide 2.25 joules by 9 seconds yielding an answer of decimal 25 watts. Our windmill has a power output of decimal 25 watts. Do you think a stronger wind would affect this power output? Decimal 25 watts is a very low power output. Your toaster at home is a 1000 watt device. It would take 4,000 of our small windmills to create enough power to run your toaster. Large windmill farms like these turn generators to create electric energy from the wind. Windmills like these create enough power to run whole villages. Even though wind is a clean source of energy, there are still concerns, including safety for migrating birds, aesthetics and noise problems that engineers and scientists are working to resolve. More energy projects can be found at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.